Hey, what is up guys? Matt and Jackson here from the Toasty Bros, and today we're going to be building the $250 gaming PC. But before we get into the build, let's have a word from today's sponsor, SCD Key. Are you trying to get a Windows 10 key for cheap? Are you trying to buy some cheap Steam games for that brand new gaming PC? Well, your number one resource should be scdkey.com. scdkey.com allows you to get access to cheap licenses for Windows 10 Pro, some Office applications, and even Steam, Uplay, and Origin games all in one convenient package. They're having a really hot deal right now on a 2016 Office license for $35. Yes, $35, bucks, you get the full Office suite. For those going back to school, this could be a great value for you. Definitely check it out. Whether you are activating a copy of Windows that you already have installed on your PC, or you're looking to build a new PC and want to save money on the Windows cost, SED Key is a very simple way to activate Windows while also saving a few bucks. All you have to do is go to scdkey.com or check the link in the description down below and search Windows 10 Pro in the search bar. If you click the link in the description down below, please consider using code TB10 to save 10%. It also helps out the channel, so you only get Windows 10 keys for $12.60. It's a crazy value. Then all you have to do if you want to activate a version of Windows that you already have installed on your PC, go to this PC, right-click, hit Properties, and scroll down to the Windows Activation section and throw in that key, and boom, you're activated. And if you're installing a brand new copy of Windows and you want to use that key, just throw it in during the installation process and you are good to go. So if you're looking to get your PC activated or buy some PC games for cheap or even get access to that really hot deal on Office 2016. Links will be located in the description down below and be sure to use code TB10 to save 10% off. Now, back to that PC build. All right, guys, so the core of this build is a Intel processor, the Xeon X3430. Now, we did a Xeon build just a few weeks ago, actually. If you hit the on the top right corner, you can check that video out. But that one was a six-core, 12-threaded Xeon. This Xeon right here only costs $7 on eBay, and it's a quad-core processor that can be overclocked in this motherboard right here, which is a MSI P55 motherboard. Now, P55 motherboards allow you to overclock the Xeon to get better frequencies and better performance. And this combo all together is a really good price performance value and we also got a gigabyte okay <laughs> <laughs> And to cool the CPU, we have the Master Air G100M from Cooler Master. It does support the 775 socket and will have a UFOE RGB effect to it because, you know, we love RGB for our builds. And also for RAM, we actually got a really good deal on eBay. This is 8 gigabytes of memory for 32 bucks. It is DDR3 because this is what this mother requires, but DDR3 memory is actually relatively cheap and it makes these used builds a much better value for money compared to DDR4 stuff right now, which is upwards of $90 per 8 gigabytes. I'm gonna do storage. And for the graphics card, we have the 750 Ti. So we actually got this card from eBay for $72 because we don't really like waiting. But if you go to AliExpress, you can get it for $62, which is a huge bargain for this card. And for the power supply, we have this one that was just on hand. It's just a Cooler Master 500 watt power supply. But like always, we suggest going with the EVGA 430 500 watt because you can get them on sale for as cheap as like $15 with a mail-in rebate. So definitely go with one of those. And as for mass storage, we have a 240 gigabyte SSD, which 240 gigabytes is plenty for entry level PC. And we really wanted to go for a SSD because it will dramatically improve the performance of the PC overall within Windows and most applications. You can opt to add a second hard drive, which we'll most likely end up doing if we end up selling this PC. But this 240 gigabyte SSD will do fine to get this build off the ground and running. Now for the case, we have the DIY PC Diamond F1 because DIY PC, please sponsor us, even though you don't really respond to us anymore. Um, <laughs> Uh, DOI PC case. Uh, it looks really good. Um, we also have some RGB fans to add to it to make it look even better. That is an optional charge. It isn't included in the budget, but I'll let Jackson talk about the fans DIY right here. Sponsor us. So here for the fans, we have 120 millimeter up here. They're full RGB fans, and they're going to make this thing look even better. You can get them for what, like 40 bucks? 40 bucks. Oh, 39.99. Yeah. You know, whatever uh, floats your boat. 39.99 for some RGB. So how about we just build this thing? Yeah, let's do it. Solution. You are, you are, you are. 
right guys, now the PC is put together, it is time to check out some benchmarks. Now, the main reason behind these Xeon budget PCs is the fact that we got a P55 motherboard. And with that P55 motherboard, it allows us to do some overclocking. Now, I am a big noob when it comes to overclocking. I am not very experienced with older platforms than overclocking and really not newer platforms in general. That's something that I'm slowly learning and as of doing this channel, I've started to become much better at. Still, not super comfortable with it, but getting a lot better. So I watched a couple guides on YouTube, one from Tech yes City. Thank you, Brian, for that awesome P55, H55 motherboard overclocking guide. Really helped out a ton. And I did dive into the settings real quick and managed to get the CPU up to 3.6 gigahertz with relatively decent temperatures. The cooler on this thing is, well, not the best for the overclocks we're trying to get. And the case doesn't really have the best airflow. But running at 3.6 gigahertz, we can play games like Fortnite, as you can tell on screen, PUBG, and The Forest relatively easily. Those are my three go-to games for benchmarking budget PCs because it gives you a good idea of how you can play in the most popular Battle Royale titles. And I also like to test the force because every single system I throw at it tends to get eaten up alive in GPU and CPU usage. So it's a really good game to test if I want to see exactly how far the system can be pushed. And the game's actually really awesome. Definitely check it out if you haven't played it before. I highly recommend if you are trying to match this system to spend a little bit more on a cooler that doesn't look like this one unless you really want the aesthetics. This Cooler Master cooler is not designed for higher end overclocking and with the voltages on this X3430 required to get it up to upwards of about 3.84 gigahertz, you do want to offer something like a Cryorig cooler or something like a Cooler Master Hyper 212. Even a Hyper 212 will do a little bit better than this cooler that we have in the system because it's more of an aesthetically a pleasing cooler. It's a UFO style cooler. It doesn't have the beefy heat pipes of something like a 212 Evo does or a Cryorig H7 or H5. All those coolers do much better and allow you to get up to 4 gigahertz, which in return will give you much better performance in games like Fortnite, PUBG, and the ones that I've tested on screen. But I'm overall really happy with the results for a $250 PC with the parts that you can really part together quite easily by just looking on eBay and then buying the CPU from AliExpress. So how about we just wrap this video up real quick? All right, guys, so as you can see, for $250, this thing looks like double that price because those RGB fans just really bring everything alive. So that 750 Ti also performs really well and it's super cheap now. And of course, we had to add this little, you know, like multicolored blue sleeve to it because it wasn't quite reaching. That Cooler Master Power Supply, being a little older, the cables are all super short. And that Xeon CPU is actually really good for seven bucks. All right, guys, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. And once again, if you want a Windows 10 key, a Microsoft Office key, or pretty much really any game key you want, please check out SCD key and use our promo code right here if you want to save a few bucks when you purchase on the site. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys later. Peace out.